Hello everybody, welcome to episode 3 with, of Sky Factory 3 with me, Fiki Breaker. Nemo is gone today, so it's just gonna be you and me. And we're gonna have some fun and do some things. Uh, off camera, I have made elevators. No more ladder. Wonderful. Uh, the mob farm is now different. I placed stairs all around, so they're transparent blocks, because mobs pathfind to full blocks. And uh, they don't pathfind to stair blocks, which is great. It kills, makes them kill, die faster, and it's all good. Uh, I put height upgrades and width upgrades in the mob fan. So this bottom floor is three tall, the middle floor is two tall, and the top floor is three tall again, because the, it wouldn't reach three above, it reaches two above. So that's okay. Um, I probably could have put it in the middle block, and then it would fine, but I can change that off camera. Um, it's not a big deal to change. I wanted to make a singularity tank, which is from upgrading details. It's basically a tank that holds 32 items. And I want to take this water bucket away. And we can pour all of this back in here. It's eight buckets worth of lava. And then I can take this crucible off, this crucible off, because they're not necessary. Grab the tank and put that in here for now. Um, what I want to do next is figure out a design for like a staircase that goes up over there to a little bit higher and 24 blocks away from this. So we get mob spawning when we're there, so we don't, and then we can tear this entire monstrosity down and go build there. So I will work on that and I will be right back. Hello, I am back. Um, I have done a little bit of work, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. By bit, I mean a lot. I built this platform and then I built a basement to the platform. And the mob farm used to be somewhere over on this side. And I moved it over here because I built this entire platform and had to tear down because one quarter of it was in a slime chunk. And I decided to put the mob farm in that slime chunk. So now we'll get slimes as well. And it has been producing so much stuff. I need to drawerize it. It's so many, so much loot. Like this is getting full. So basically. I'm ready to craft some things. I need a drawer controller, but I need a diamond. And I don't have a diamond, but I have diamond armor from the loot bags. And I can sag melt those into, uh, into, whatchamacallit, uh, diamonds. So we need some Enderio machines, starting with a sag melt, which we need, we're gonna need gold nuggets. Let's get those. We're gonna need a total of two capacitors some iron bars and then two machine casings and then a piston so let's go up top i moved the elevator as well so it reaches up here uh i need some cobble there was cobble in here i think cobble i have wood and i have too much stuff in my inventory the dirt i don't need the saplings i don't need i can turn this treated wood plank into some more slabs. Okay, and then I don't need these two buckets. Okay, so flint is one thing. Three, nice. And then we go piston. Sag mill. Nice. Okay, and then we need an alloy smelter. Alloy smelter is over here. We need three furnaces. We need a cauldron. And that should be an alloy smelter. Nice. And then we're just going to get uh, an undeath generator because we can extract the bones and get power from that. So I need a chest. Like so. And this can become sticks. So we get a machine block. And then we need a furnace generator. And then for the rest, we're going to need bones, spider eyes which we all have down below by the mob farm. Let's 
just going to grab five bones, a spider eye, and undeath generator. And then I'm going to grab a stack of bones. Actually, I'm going to grab three stacks because then I can turn them into bone blocks. And what we will do is I'll just go down here and place this like right here for now. Uh, and put down the alloy smelter, sagmo, uh, turn these into bone blocks, and then turn this, let's just do this, bam, bam, oh, wrong, this, I don't know why we're missing one, that is fine. This is making power now. Okay. We now need to go grab ender pearls. I do have them. And we need some diamond gear. I wasn't here. Nice. And we can use those magic beans as well. And I'll get a. I uh, won't grab the Otatic yet because it's pointless. We don't have enough power to support them. Um, so that plus this equals diamonds. And in here, alloys only, just make 16, why not? I need a lot of conduits anyway. And then the next thing we're gonna need is conduit binder. And for that we need binder composite, which is sand, gravel, and clay, which we will get. But before we do that, um, actually, you know, while that, I'm gonna wait for this to process, oh, that's gonna take a while. Um, yeah, let's get let's get the binder composite if we can. I have sand. I need some clay. I have five of it. That'll do for for the beginnings. This, and we'll just get a little bit of cobble. And press it down. Let's get how many? And then I have a hammer here somewhere. Oh yeah, I also made a coal coke that is unlit. Uh, that made me all of the treated uh, creosote oil for uh, the treated wood planks that I used for the platform. This treated wood looks really nice. Uh, but basically a coke oven is basically just clay and some sand. Coke bricks, you get 27 of those. You toss them in a 3x3 and then you right click them with an engineer's hammer and you get this. You put you can put in logs or coal or stuff like that, and then you get either charcoal out if you put on logs, and then you get coke thingies. Coke coke coke, that's the word. So let's make conduit binder things. Should have enough for 16. Uh, let's just smelt it down in the alloy smelter. Which is doing full seating iron things, but we can take you to furnace only. And I need to drop something like so. Clay, go away. Okay, we have diamonds now. I need crate, storage crate, because it's just too many items. Just make two. Don't have enough planks. Okay. Cleanliness, kind of. You do that and that. Diamonds. Drawer controller. Drawer. Controller. Okay. Then I need redstone and iron. I have no cobble. Cobblestone. Make a bunch of stacks of that. Get some more, I have some more dark oak. Because next thing we need is some compacting drawers. Uh, compacting drawer, we need pistons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight should be, let's get 16. And then drawer, comp these compacting drawers, sweet. 
Okay. Now we got a drill controller, which we will smack right in the middle. And then compacting drawer here, here, probably here, here and there. And then I need to go get, these are probably done. Let's get more of this going. Alloy mode, 10 and 11. Um, bone meal can go, <laughs> if it, it can't toss things off the edge here anymore, I need a trash can. Uh, okay, now we take pulsating iron, put it like this, and then take these item conduits. I have no clue if 40 will be enough to reach from the mob farm to where I need to go. I'll just use cobble for blocks. And I'll go sleep so I don't do it looks like it's nighttime here, but it's just dark. Um Yeah, doesn't matter. Uh we need to go either behind here. I will go from the mob farm. Just go around. So the lowest block that I can put put the <laughs> this is the lowest block that I can place, and I place a conduit in this block. So we'll see how this will go. We go here. This will be the middle block. Let's go here. I'll place down torches just in case. Um, do we want to go right up? Through the edge, or do we want to just go straight down and up? Mm. Might as well go over the edge. controller do I want to go like this though one up higher and this So, and then this guy needs to be on insert. And then I'll just do this while for vein mining. And then we need to go over here and see how to run that guy over. I don't know if how far away this advanced item collector reaches, but I can do though is do this. And put in a we'll put in a temporary block, which is gonna be the storage crate. Because then I can put a conduit right here. Put a slab above it. Then I can probably reach that conduit. I totally cannot. Okay, so let's do this. And break this again. Okay, conduit. There I said. And this and this. And like that. Okay. And then I will put 
storage crate there. I don't want to break all of these. Plus, I haven't configured the uh, drawers for anything, so that will be bad, a bad idea. Let's do this for now. Let's get up here. Clean out my inventory. Go up top. I need to grab the drawer key that is in here. And then we can go configure the drawers for everything. So over here, if I right click here, everything should lock. Nice. Okay, let's go get like one of each item or one stack of each or something. Um, so we need rotten flesh, bone block, bones, gunpowder, arrows, infernium, string. Ender pearls, sugar sticks, spider eyes, these dirt chest, dirt chest nine thousands, um, and then we need this loot bag, and this loot bag, and this loot bag, and this loot bag, slime balls, uh, chests, glowstone bottles, snowballs, bat bags, dimlit parcels. Grab a few more slime balls. Redstone, pink, blur pink. Um, what else? Those I got from a thing. And we'll see. We'll see what's left when we when we bring, when conduits do their thing. Um, okay. So I'll put the common loot bag in here. And then we can put the uncommon in here. And then epic here. And then I need to put in bad bags here. Yeah, redstone can go into a compacting drawer because why not? Slime walls, compacting drawer. Glowstone compacting drawer. Enderpearls, why not? Fernium, also why not? And then rotten flesh, bones, gunpowder, arrows, string, sticks, glass bottles, spider eyes, sugar, then snowballs, pink powder, can put the all of the random stuff this in here I'll actually take this out and that out and those out and I'll put in here chests these dimlit parcels and then I'll lock you and then pink powders can go in here and snowballs and then I can move drawers around if needed uh, now let's go see if we oh, go up. If I go extract, actually I need a few item conduits. And I'll have quite enough for this, which, will, which is going to be good. If we now take item conduits and just temporarily Run them over here. I'll break this. And then we can just extract always active on all four. And I will be back in a little bit when this clears up and I'll sort all the drawers and yeah, we'll do that. I am back. I have destroyed the entire base that was above. It's gone forever now. Um, it needed to happen. I moved the smeltery over here. I can't configure the top of this conduit until I get a yet wrench, but basically this will extract eventually into this chest when like things in like cobble melt in the the controller. Um everything else has been moved down. The cobble gen, I can make an infinite water source. Uh but what I wanted to do right now is check out these magic beans. They go all the way up to build limit. And when you climb on it, you climb super fast. Whoosh. 
You can see the Y level going. Yeah, you climb faster than it grows, basically. And at the top, there's a bean pond. And in the bean pond are goodies. Emeralds, gold, iron, diamonds, more beans to drop down. And you even descend really fast. I don't know if those will land on the platform. It doesn't really matter. But yeah. And then we can just break and break. And it's gone. Sweet. Um, so we got a little bit of gold, a little bit of diamonds, some emeralds, which is great. We have a bunch of diamonds now because legendary loot bags are a thing that we're getting from this now. I have also made a few gold upgrades. I got these, the emerald in here and here in legendary loot bags, which I'll just keep opening from now on and everything that I'll get, I'll, I'll put in a chest somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is most of the things that I'm getting from the mob farm. And then I think what we can do later is just hook, like make this entire room either into a drawer room or just like that side and that side into one compacting drawers, one regular drawer, something or another. Or even this might be enough for everything that we need. Because I can just remove these items and put them over on that side. And then just leave these drawers for something else. But this is doing great. Like I've used half a stack for what I've been doing. Uh, and I put octatic capacitors as well, which I got from legendary loot bags. Um, I'm waiting on a little bit of draconium to get um, to get the dislocator, which is a, a magnet. I need four dust, and I need blaze powder, which I think we have somewhere. Yeah, we have some blaze powder. Um, but yeah, that is what has happened in behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, also this crate might not be good here. I might go underneath and put the, the cable there because I want a redstone clock in here. Uh, but yeah, uh, what I'll do actually is take one of these item conduits and just do this and do insert, extract, make process all this cobble into your system. You have a bunch of space to do that. Due to that. Actually, let's do this. The storage crate fall off. I don't know if it is. If it did, it did. We'll do that. Put the cobble in, and then I need to get underneath, which means we need a water bucket. Which means we can grab six iron and three stone, and turn that into a well. I'll put it next to the cobble gen, which is an infinite water source maker. Yay. Okay. So let's get by treated slab. By treated slab. I'll do this. And I need item conduit. More item conduit. Something that isn't dirt. Dirt is not a thing that we have a lot of. Snack of cobble will do. Let's do that so that I get a block to stand on and I can place this here this here storage crate here we'll move to the side place a conduit here not that there let's do insert extract always active extract always active and then I will Vein mine this cobble. Like so, blow it up. Oh no, made mistakes. I saved my mistakes. It's too too soon. Ooh, that was too close. <laughs> okay. Now this is again bad design. Not really. I'll just put a bottom slam. <laughs> That'll do. And then I need the redstone clock that we had up there somewhere. If we, Did we have a redstone clock? We didn't have a redstone clock. Redstone clock is a torch and four redstone and... Is it stone? Yes. Four stones and then four redstone. Bam, 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 bam. And then we do this. All of the seared stone, seared brick, whatever. I don't know why we need it, but I had excess cobble. 
<laughs> so that can melt. Um, we'll use it for something at some point. Can I melt seared brick or that was already made? Can. Sweet. I don't need to melt those, but those can stay in there. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, uh, I need to make a, like, a, is there a clipboard? Clip. There is a clipboard. Needs an ink sack though. Let's see. Had two sponges. A sieve, a string mesh. How lucky am I to get an ink sack out of two sponges? Nothing. And nothing. Absolutely unlucky. Okay, that didn't happen. Anyway, we're gonna have to get more sponges for ink sacks or get a squid farm. But, um, yeah, I think I'll take a break, figure out what I'm doing next, and I will be back. And if it's time to end the episode, we'll end the episode. If not, we'll do some more stuff. Okay. I am back. I What I decided to do is to just take the sieves and make a bunch of them, actually. Take the ones that we had and make more. And I have made 25 of uh, each of the sieves uh, and put in meshes. So we have flint meshes, string meshes, future to be diamond meshes, and nine iron meshes because we don't have enough iron to make more. But, um, and I just put a random chest with random things in there. Uh, and I'm gonna end the episode off by making a draconic dislocator thing to do hicker. So we need an eye of ender. And we make this. And like this, we need two redstone. And bam. No more losing items to the void. Magnet. Sweet. Anyway, this will be it uh, for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.